As we know, 80% of wildfires are caused by humans, which leads to 20% of global carbon emission. The cost is massive, $140 billion of insurance payout annually and counting. Detection speed is the key to avoiding wildfires, and having communications in remote locations has been a long-running industry challenge. This particular collaboration involves ultra-low-cost smoke sensing technology combined with low bandwidth communications to enable detection of wildfires in areas where we've traditionally run into significant communication challenges. The challenges at PG&E is no different. PG&E must protect its infrastructure, its assets, and mitigate its risks from liabilities caused by wildfires. At Dryad, we have revolutionized the world with our innovation. Dryad is building a large-scale IoT network, which consists of three components, the sensor, the gateway, and the cloud platform. Now think of the sensor to be an electronic nose. It's able to smell the change in air pressure, temperature, carbon dioxide, monoxide, and communicate with our gateway and the cloud platform. Our gateway is also another unique piece of our innovation. It has a mesh architecture for scalability and reliability. We are able to detect and distinguish different smells of fire using the artificial intelligence and machine learning embedded in our sensor platform. We are doing controlled fires using vegetation, charcoal, cigarette, as well as wooden poles. The sensors are able to detect the fire from vegetation ultra early during the first six minutes from ignition and able to communicate with our gateways and the cloud platform. PG&E personals are notified via email and SMSs and also through the portal. One of the unique use cases PG&E wanted us to do is to smell the wooden poles on fire. These poles have chemicals in it and the dried sensors are able to detect the smell of those chemicals too. We're here at PG&E's ATS testing laboratory and we're testing out great new innovation technology from Dryad to test some of these very lightweight, low-powered sensors to help give us better situational awareness for wildfires. The sensor uses more of a smell type of sensor, which can be very beneficial because as you can detect smell for longer distances. This technology has potential in our rural areas where we have limited communications and it can give us very granular approach in addition to our wildfire detection cameras that we already have in place. One of the challenges we gave to Dryad was to incorporate their technology into sort of more meaningful pg e use cases. And we have asked them to help enhance their AI technology to detect different types of smells. Pole is a different type of smell than a vegetation fire, so our treated wood poles have a unique distinct smell that they have taught their AI to recognize. And that's one of the pilots that we were testing as well. Another technical challenge we asked Dryad to help us design is a linear approach to their network topology. Our grid is constructed from a pole to a pole or a tower to a tower and is more linear in fashion, which is a little bit different for their mesh technologies. And that's something that uh, we are working very closely with Dryad to help us solve. Another capability of why we're working together is that their sensors, once deployed, can be enhanced remotely through software updates. So for example, if their AI can learn a different type of a scent or smell, they can quickly learn that and redeploy that over the air up to all of our sensors to be at the latest patch level. After three months of pilot testing in our, in our labs here, we feel pretty confident that the technology is reliable for us to move over to the next, next uh, pilot to put it out in the field for, for detection and we will better learn and understand how these devices work in rural areas where there's limited communications, how the solar panels behave in, in charging these devices, and give us really good early detection for any wildfire risk.